everyone, my name is Tasila Kayla. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. So today's video is a simple get ready with me. I, as you can see, my hair is in its natural state. I've kind of just been letting it chill in the summer heat, not blow drying it or like if I do straighten it, it's just for church and I've just generally been curling it. But today I am just letting my mane be. So I guess you could say it's kind of a new product, same me video. Um, there's not that many new products, but just a couple of things. So um, the first step that I will be doing is toning my face. I'm using the Body Shop Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Milky Toner. So this is supposed to brighten even and revitalize my skin. I can't say whether it does or doesn't because um, I started using this in 2018 for like two weeks. Okay, a bit more than two weeks. But... I hadn't really seen anything and I just kind of got over the whole thing oh, I need a tone every time so I am trying to get back into this so it's from the body shop gonna put some on my skin I'm going into the bin I'm just gonna let this sit on my skin for a little bit before I go in with my moisturizer the Body Shop Vitamin E Gel Moisture Cream. Great cream. On a usual day, I'd put in some SPF, but I don't think I'm leaving the house today. I'm just filming how I usually get ready and maybe film a few other videos and do some stuff for my blog. So uh, I'm just gonna go straight in with my new face mist. I got this for Christmas and I'm really excited about it. It's the Body Shop Mint mattifying face mist hydrates mattifies makeup friendly so i used to use the strawberry one um that was for like a texturizing spray to make your skin texture look better and that finished so i've moved on to this and i love it so while that sets in i'm going to show you guys my new brushes that i got this year they were on sale they're the real techniques neon i forgot the name and i've thrown away the box but um, they're the new, like a neon party set from Real Techniques. Um, the brushes do look like a party, and I love these jelly ends. Um, it is a ultimate buffing brush, which I will be using for my foundation. A contour fan brush, um, which I started using because 2019 is the year that I contour. And then just two eyeshadow brushes, which are really, really great. The other thing that came with the brushes in the set was a beauty blender but um you know me don't exactly work well with these so hopefully by the end of 2019 i know how to use a beauty blender properly for foundation i'm just going to go in with my normal fit me foundation maybelline in the shade 356 so i just dot it so i've moved home in like the past few months i guess i moved in november and I haven't really filmed anything. Well, I filmed, but nothing that I've actually uploaded. Because moving home is just like that alone was such a big adjustment from, you know, washing dishes once a week, doing laundry once a week. Okay, now I wash dishes like at least every second day. But to washing dishes all the time and washing happening all the time and it's and housework all the time. And it's just been a very big adjustment, especially since, you know, it's been like five years since I've fully immersed myself into living here and I don't know where things stay and it's a whole big hullabaloo and filming at home just felt very awkward and like you know I just I didn't feel comfortable and not comfort uncomfortable it was just like I felt very shy I guess to do it like while my parents are around I'm gonna go in with my usual concealer which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. Don't I look pretty? So, um, as I was saying, it's not so much like I don't feel comfortable. It's just like it's awkward because usually I film I'm completely alone and there's no one making any noise unless like you know it's like a res at res. I'm actually done with my degree, so. You know, no more res life. I'll be living here, starting my job in a couple of days. I filmed a video and 
the vacuum got switched on like three times. Um, my mom was asking my dad for something or asking me for something and it was just really difficult to do so today i am home alone well almost home alone my granny is around but um she's already interrupted the filming of this once but let's just hope that um she doesn't need me for like the next half an hour now that my base is basically done i'm just gonna set it once again with my mattifying spray and this is possibly the best christmas present ever while this kind of just dries on my face, the new setting powder that I'm using is the Makeup Revolution 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 Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. I don't really know how I feel about this yet. I had kind of a rocky start with it. It's just really difficult to like get out of the bottle when you need it, you know, to just pat on your face. And you guys know I bake my entire face. So I just kind of push it out into this old hand that I have for my essence powder and then just pick it up with this really old but really good eco tools powder brush and just dab my entire face my face has set I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I feel like everyone has seen me do this so I'm just gonna be using my benefit cabrow so my brows have been done and moving on to eyeshadow I have been loving this new makeup revolution palette that I've got it is the reloaded neutrals 2 it's just a lot of neutral tones basically that I simply adore so I'm just gonna do a very minimalistic chilled out look I'm going to take this burnt orange shade here and just blend it into my crease and then probably just do the shade on my eyelids and call it a day it just gives me a very there but not there not too much kind of vibe which is my brand so i just put on that burnt orangey shade which is kind of like all of my palettes basically so um the color that i've just been using the most is any kind of burnt orange that i have in one of my palettes whichever one is closest to me and i think i'm just gonna go in with yeah this darker color here Probably use the same brush, change my brush, I really just love how these brushes like pick up the color from the palette so I don't always have to use my fingers anymore. So um, I think my eyes are done, which is very basic, very simple, very easy to do for anyone. On a normal day, I really don't have time for eyeliner, so I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'll be using the Essence Maximum Definition Volume Mascara after I curl my lashes, of course. to bring up my short lashes. Okay, so, so now that me, me eyes, my eyes, so now that my eyes are done, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to try and contour. This is a very new concept for me, um, but for contouring, I don't actually have a contour shade yet. I've only contoured my face, I think, probably four times or something for this entire year. So I have the I Had Makeup Chocolate Orange Palette, and from there, I'll just be using the two brown shades and mixing them together so the warmer brown and then more of the ashier brown and just mixing them together and then contouring the face 
Well, attempting to. I'm not that great at it yet. So, I mean, we have a line. I mean, how good is it? Not that good. But, I mean, it's like I have cheekbones. And then I'll just blend it in. It's not entirely even. Um, for now, I assume this is as good as it's going to get until I get um, more experience, definitely lots more practice, and maybe um, an actual contouring product. So um, I'm just going to go and blush, highlighter, and lipstick. For blush, I'm just going to use this Coralie color from the New Neutrals palette because of uh, versatility. Which is a lot of blush. So... Um, you know, if I want to be a clown, that's great. So I'm just going to blend that out. And we've got ourselves a little bit of rouge. I've been watching Cable Girls on Netflix and oh my gosh, I love the show. Highlighter. I'm just going to use my good old Glowgasm palette from Switch Beauty. The rose gold shade, I think. And I've kind of stopped putting highlighter on my nose purely because um, sometimes I get really oily around there and then I want to dab it or like repowder it but then I'm getting glitter all over my face so I've stopped that and last but not least I'm going to be using my new favorite lip product um, I did a bit of a Colourpop shop over like the Black Friday week specials so my Lip color is going to be a little bit dramatic. It's my new favorite thing to use. I'm just going to be using an ultra metallic lip from Colourpop in the shade Nimbus. That is the look and basically I've worn this out a couple of times and I really really like it and I'm so happy with like my January look. I'm just going to set my face once again with my mattifying spray. Ooh, ooh. How did this happen? I'm not sure how I did this but um, I'm going to set my face with my hands. So that is all for this week's video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and you liked this look and if you did let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a like and yeah subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.